Hello and welcome to a new 3CX tutorial. There's a function on 3CX that allows the PBX to answer phone calls with a recording that is going to guide the user through some options that the user can choose, for example, press 1 for information, press 2 for sales, and so on. This is the IVR or digital receptionist and we are going to see it today. After you log into the 3CX management console, let's head to the digital receptionist tab located in the main menu on the left part of your screen. There are three options on the top of the screen. One to edit the digital receptionist. One to delete the one that we don't need. And the other one to add a new digital receptionist. To add a new one, you should click on this button. Then, a new window will show up. Here, you will have the option to set many aspects, such as the new digital receptionist's name. Set the digital receptionist's extension. In this case, it is better to use a number that is different from other extensions numbers, to specify that this is a digital receptionist and not a user. Digital receptionist's type. There are five different types to choose from. Let's review each one. The first one is the standard. By taking this option you can specify actions for the number dialed, from 0 to 9. The actions that can take place are the following. End call. Connect to a specific extension. Connect to a ring group. Connect to a queue on your PBX. Connect to another digital receptionist. This means you can chain multiple digital receptionists without a problem. Transfer to a voicemail. Call by name. This is an intelligent dialing feature that allows you to enter the first three letters of the person you are going to talk with, and you'll be redirected to its extension. A previous configuration of the names has to be done from the extensions. Repeat prompt. Play prompt and exit. Or send a call to call flow amp. The second option is the DTMF input. Set user menu options based on custom DTMF codes with up to 9 digits each. This means that you can define the number of options that users must dial to make their choice. As an example, we can have the number option like 114 and select an action to be executed among 10 different options. Here you will have the same options available for the standard type. As the third option we have the launch script. This one is intended for advanced users, to optionally collect the caller's input, launch an external script, and execute the defined action based on the script's exit code. When you select this option, there are different options than the other digital receptionist types. You will find, collect user input and pass it to the script. As it says, this enables the PBX to get the DTMF input and passes it to the external script. Expect digit length limits the user's input to the specified number of digits. If the number of digits entered is, Less than expected, re-prompt the caller three times and then end the call. As expected, start the script, passing the input as an argument. More than expected, get the first expected number of digits, ignoring the rest, and start the script with the input as an argument. Playback user input and request confirmation. When enabled, it will play an already set recording giving information about the number entered. Full path to the script. Is where you add the address of your external script. And at the end the exit code. You can add up to 101 unique numeric exit codes for your script-based IVR, with respective actions and destinations. When the script ends, it returns an appropriate exit code to the IVR, which in turn uses it for routing the call. Going back to the type of IVR we can find the fourth option that is the wake-up reminder service, used by hotel guests to call and set automated wake-up and reminder calls. As this is just for information, it's not going to wait for an input for it to work. Last but not least, the fifth option which is the MS exchange. You must use this if you want to delegate 3CX PBX voicemail functionality to exchange server. Moreover, there is another important feature that is the prompt of our IVR. This is the recording that our customer is going to hear when the call is done. For example, press 1 for information, press 2 for sales, etc. The prompt has to be a WAV format and has to meet the requirements set by the IVR. You can find a drop-down where you will find all the prompts saved for the digital receptionist purposes. Some of them are added by default. Besides this, three buttons are the following. Add prompt. You can add an audio file that is saved on your computer. Make sure the format of the audio is the correct one. Record. Same as the voicemail. You can record from your extension the audio that you want the user to hear for him to choose the proper route. Manage. You can manage the recordings that you have done so far, where you can play download or delete if it is needed. At the end of the whole section, you will find the option to set the digital receptionist's language. Going further, you have the option of assigning a specific DID to receive calls directly to this extension. This one is optional. 
and the destination for invalid or no DTMF input, in case the user doesn't dial any number within this number of seconds. You can set the value and after this time in seconds, you can choose among these actions to happen when the time is over. In case the input is invalid, you can choose also an option. After you have set the whole options, you must click on the OK button, and you will have finished the digital receptionist configuration, which you will find on the list. Hope you enjoyed this video and see you next time.